Okay, hello. Today we're going to look at a range of in between sort of bits that are all really important and how to give commands. Here's the vocabulary. First, let's look at unofficial words. By now, you should have noticed that all Tokipona words are lowercase, even me. The only time capitals are used is when a word is used that is not a Tokipona word. For example, names of people as places. Even then, the names are often Tokiponified. Before we say an unofficial name, we put a marker, so to speak, in front of it. If we say a person's name, for instance, we say Yan, then the person's name. If we are talking about a land, we say Ma, then the land. For a city, it's Ma Tomo, then the name of the city. For a language, it's Toki, plus where the language comes from, etc. I'll put up a list of unofficial words on the practice. You don't have to memorize all of them, but memorizing some will be useful. Now, how to talk to a name 101. Just get as close to how the name sounds as possible with the syllable structure, consonant plus vowel plus optional N, and only using Tokipona letters. You can have a vowel at the start of the word if you want. Let's do these ones. Young Philippa goes to Young Philippa. Ma New Zealand goes to Ma New Zealand. Moku Pancake goes to Moku Pankeke. But please, other than the names for people and places, do not overuse unofficial words like pancake. That was an example only. On to gender. In Tokipana, you do not often use or need gender, but in the times you do or want to, Meli and Mie is used. Meli and Mie on their own are woman and man, or the other translations. Wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend. To show something's gender, just add whatever one suits. For example, Mama Mie is father, while Mama Meli is mother. Okay, on to O. O is fundamental. In fact, maybe imagine it as a slightly different leaf. Here's its first use. Say you want to get someone's attention. Just say Yan plus name plus O. Now it's second use. Command. Use O instead of Li to form a command. For example, Yan pin o toki tawa mi. Ben, talk to me. Or, o tawa ala. Don't move. To get someone's attention and tell them what to do, just use one O, not two. Now for interjections. This is just the stuff that livens up conversations. Ah, cool, moo, hi. Just say them whenever you want. Okay. I'm going to talk about Awen for a bit, just to elaborate. So, um, Awen is basically inertia, carrying on with exactly what you've already been doing. For example, if someone works and they go away for a bit and come back and they're still working, I can explain to someone, Yan li Awen pali, someone is still working. If you are standing still and I want you to keep standing still, I could say, or awen, say. An example of using awen as a verb. If I wanted to say, I'll keep the food for you, I'll say, mi awen e moku tawasina. If I want to say, I'll guard the castle for you, I'll say, mi awen e tomusuli tawasina. That's pretty much it. Learn the vocab and do the homework. Mi tawa, bye!